Hey everyone, I'm Alfred, welcome back to Quake. Uh, last time I shot a switch to reveal a door. And I was going to mention a thing about that. So, there are four real episodes of Doom that were officially released. There were some additional bonus map packs released with uh, Ultimate Doom. Because they had to do something to convince people to buy Doom 1 and 2 again. Because other than that, Ultimate Doom was just, you know, Doom 1 and 2 a second time. Wow, you do a lot of damage. Uh, so they put two map packs in there, one called... Uh, TNT Evolution. Like, Evolution, but evil. And another called Plutonia. They are both way harder than the original Doom. Uh, and I don't know if I would play them, but some people consider them to be, you know, proper parts of Doom that you shouldn't skip over. Don't know if I agree, but again, not a discussion for today. Sorry, when I touch my, my... I have a trackpad and I have a mouse as well. Because I record on a laptop. And if I ever, like, touch both and put them in opposite directions, my, uh my mouse will do, like, essentially a big spin. I'm hearing what I think is infighting, and I like that. You know, all in all, this game doesn't look as bad as I remember. Anyway, um... So those are the six official releases for, uh... Seven official releases for the original Doom. There's all four levels. Nope. All four episodes of the original Doom. There's Plutonia and TNT Evolution. And then there's Doom 2. However, there are two people on the Doom team named John. Which means that I get them confused. John Carmack and John Romero. One of them, I want to say Romero, made a map pack for Doom and put it on the internet for free download. And like... You know, he was one of the fucking devs. Can I actually... I just noticed that I'm not filling up enough of my space here. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, he was one of the devs. And that's one of those, like, things. Like, ow. When the dev makes a mod, like, is that not... Uh, official thing? Like, what does that count as, you know? What can that be, officially? Uh, I believe it's called Episode 5 Sigil. Obviously, you know, him claiming that it's the fifth episode. Ah, I guess you won your duel, sir. Or there's more of you. Ooh, armor. So yeah, some people consider that to be an official part of Doom. Others don't. Uh... Because, you know, it's it wasn't ever officially sold, and it only has one member of the team on it. And it's also, you know, not really proper, you know, doom. But, I digress. One of the big mechanics in it, uh, if I remember correctly, is something not as present in... Uh, original Doom. 
and it is shooting switches. You shoot little eyes or little things on the wall. And, you know, they're switches, so they activate things. And it was new technology. And you can tell that, like... Oh, yeah, it's the suit, right. You can tell that Carmack is, like, proud of it, or possibly Romero. The Thunderbolt? Ah! I see. Can I... I need, like... I wanted to, like, change my name. I don't want to be Quake Spasm. But whatever. Anywho. That mechanic of... Of shooting switches has become a thing all over the place in, in uh, Quake. So, maybe it was something that they were working on for Doom. Couldn't get it in. Moved it to... Quake. Where they could get it to work. And they never looked back. Sucker. So this gun, uh, this rocket launcher, was included in Team Fortress 2 as a special weapon. It's just a skin for the default rocket launcher. Uh, and it's slightly more high res, but it looks basically like this. It's also by default fixed in the middle of the screen no matter what, unlike most of the other guns, which are put on the right hand side as though they're being held like in other modern first person shooters. It also makes the same sound, which I think is a good detail. Jesus, I'm getting pancaked in here. It'd be kind of interesting to see, like, a cohesive quake. Like, if you were to edit the game so that the door in the last uh, level actually leads to the, that door in this one. Ooh, armor. And health. I need both of those. Sorry, I know I'm not playing very aggressively, but... They weren't fucking around when they said that this gun takes a lot of... Oh! Goodies. I feel like there are way more random, like, enemy sounds in this game. Because occasionally in Doom you hear that one, like, crunching, cracking noise. And you're like, oh, weird, what's that? But normally you don't need to worry about it. But, like, in this game, like, man, I feel like there are so many more just, like, straight noises, you know? Okay. So what's it like in here, fellas?
All right, now shooting an enemy will sometimes make it aggro to you and not aggro to someone else. Oh God! <laughs> I'm just I'm focusing in so hardcore I almost don't want to talk please go away grenades Okay, there goes him. So I can move in now. All right, bio suit. I don't even know what this thing is, but Thunderbolt, huh? Oh, cool, thank you. So I, what I think I'm, I'm seeing here is the floor under this damaging me? Fuck me. Alright. Play back up to here. Wow. You could book with a, a grenade in your ass. I guess that's kind of the idea, right? I think this is where, like, grenade jumping and, uh, rocket jumping really got invented. Because you can do it in Doom, uh, and I have done it, in fact. But, like, it's really, I think it's really from here. Being able to look down probably is what seriously impacted that more than anything. Yes, fight. Oh boy. I should probably use this thing a little more. I don't think I can hold as much of it as I think. And boy, does it do some damage. It's so gooey. It's always an important reminder to not shoot it at your own feet unless you're really planning something big. Alright, so this is where I got stuck last time. Yowza! Okay. I wonder what the damage values are like for Quake. Fuck. Walked onto that one and sat on it like an egg I'm trying to hatch. I used the joke already, damn. Um, not that I write jokes, I just have things that I think are funny that stick in my head. Yowza.
Who now? Where? Oh, I've run myself out. I can swim in this, right? I can. And in fact, it's good that I do. There are goodies in here. Ah, word. I love that the noise for quad damage has been kept consistent. Hawkeard uh, players may notice that that is still the noise that happens in Doom 4. Jesus, fuck you, buddy. So what I'm thinking is... These guys put together... Oh dear. Ah, because I used... Lightning and water. That makes sense, but I'm still mad. Maybe I can hold on to my armor better this time. Right. I bet they think that they were funny for that, huh? I mean, come on, they, they've put, like, a large amount of water right next to, uh, right next to the place where, uh, one gains access to the lightning gun. Okay. I'm going to save here because goddamn. Man, that feels pretty good. I'll be honest. I've shot that thing, right? Yeah, this is the center room. Yeah, also, this level's called, like, the Wizard... The Wizard's Mance. I have no idea what that means. I should switch to this, actually. It looks like I'm gonna be fighting in hallways. Okay. Oh, this is this thing. I recognize this from earlier. I, I have this problem sometimes where, uh, because I wear glasses, 
my little ear gets a little pinched when I wear both of them. Phew. I feel like I definitely have earned the right to save there. Oh yeah, so I started installing things onto my hard drive. And I named the file Games Too Large. Because it's supposed to be for games that are too large for my PC. Uh, however, Quake is really small, so, you know, Quake actually doesn't count as a game that's too large. However, because I just reinstalled it, um while getting Quake Spasm to run. Uh, pardon me, dickhead. Because I just reinstalled it while getting Quake Spasm to run. Uh, I changed, uh, I, that's just the new default, I think. Oh, this is open. Cool. Boy. I should have been ready. This is so classic, Id. Wow, Zers. I feel appreciated that. Not every day I get scared on this channel. In fact, it's very rare. You. Thank you. I really both hate and like how those are like clearly just corpses. So are fiends more dangerous than I give them credit, or was that just like a max roll, or what? They do a lot of damage. Yeah, good. Phew. Yowza. So, is it not counting um, the kills that are made by enemies? Because you know what? I'll take that. That's fine. They cheat, man. I cheat. Let you go your own way. Wow, yeah, they do a lot of damage. The weird little atmospheric whisperings are kind of getting to me. I might need to take a break soon. Reminds me of the, uh, like, pre-mission hype in, like, a Devil May Cry. Though I'm probably thinking of, like, specifically four. Wow, yeah. The dismal oubliette. That's where I am, huh? I mean, I can kill this guy, like, reliable, so I'm just going to save there because I don't really want to kill him every time. Is that backwards? I think it might be. Old classic. Coolio? Huh, huh, huh. 
Maybe I can get some like fish in a barrel effect going. So there's these like weird little dewlaps on Doomguy's helmet. They're little things that sit at around like the side of his jaw or his chin. And they're just on the helmet. I don't know what their purpose is, but I've just noticed that uh, Ranger also has one. Though Ranger's face is also a little more obvious and visible. Man, okay. I hear ya. Word. Oh man, he got on there, didn't he? God, am I in the fiend zone or something? Dismal oubliette. Oh man, tell me this works, huh? Maybe not. It's way easier to code if in water and you fire the uh, the lightning gun, you just explode versus water becomes an AoE damaging floor effect to enemies when the lightning gun is fired at it. Oops. I'm going to just... Because, you know, come on. Actually, I might try using this because I know that I get more cells right here. Then again, maybe I need the splash damage to kill him. I can't believe that it's Trent Reznor. Though again, who am I to say, you know? That sounds like Heavy doing his little nom nom sound from Team Fortress 2. Oh man. Jesus. I was in way too close of uh proximity to even think about using the rocket launcher. Maybe I'll just put a few of these in here. Anybody else? Any more taggers? Sure. This is probably like They sneak up on me when I least suspect. Man, you know what this reminds me of? I've, I'm not completely sure why. 
But do you guys remember the Simpsons Treehouse of Horror episode that, like, parodies Harry Potter? For whatever reason, like, that's what this is reminding me of. Thing on the wall to shoot. Or do we just have to... Wow, we just gotta do it honest, huh? Stop shooting me, dude. Peekaboo. I wonder if this is what they wanted the pinkies to be. Bar has been dropped. Oh, on the other side. Yeah, that's how water works. I guess it makes sense, though. At least internally. I feel like this is music to like lose your mind to and go insane to. The center bridge has changed. Ooh, don't do that. Oh, he died mid-jump. So, based on how every weapon follows this pattern now... I'm definitely thinking that we're gonna get, like... Another, um... Weapon that uses cells. Like, that's probably definitely on the menu, huh? And it's probably going to be a BFG. Um, just thinking about the niches that uh, we have filled so far. We have Melee, which was filled by the Fist. We have Workhorse, which is the shotgun in both games. Then we have, like, Double Workhorse, which is the double shotgun in both games. We have Slightly Smaller Arms, which is the nail gun or the pistol. We have a uh, machine gun of some kind, which is the chain gun, or in this case, the super nail gun. Hmm. God damn it. I hate taking stupid damage. Though I'll admit it was a little unavoidable there. Such tight corners, you know? floor is accessible. What's it look like? Bad. Is there like a health pack I can just borrow while I'm over here? I just want to check one moment, everyone. Uh, I'll beat this level and end the episode, lest you think I'm letting it run on too long. Guess I'll just do a safety save. Uh, where was I with my examination? Gold key. I guess the gold key will be up here, huh? 
Okay, that's just fucking rude. So, the plasma rifle, which I think is actually called the plasma gun now that I think of it. Is there to, like, get some work done and burn through ammo quick. But, like, it'll kill something. And that's what the lightning gun does as well. So I'm thinking we're definitely going to have, like, one more gun here. And it's going to hit a wide swath of land. And it's going to affect, like, a bunch of enemies. That's my thought process. Third floor accessible. Uh, and of course there's no buttons to hit, so we just have to wait for it to cycle. Gah. Thunderbolt. Oh man, you know what I need to play? Painkiller. I've never played Painkiller. But I've never heard anyone say anything bad about at least the first couple of games. And I'm led to believe that it's about as classic of a shooter as you can get. Like, it even takes place in hell. Oh, and this will just let me get back to here. I'll take that damage. I don't really care that much. This time, it's only five damage. Yep. Fiend fucking central. Center bridge has changed. Oh, I'm turning the bridge every time. That's really neat, actually. So now I can't get back to the starting area. And I think the secondary area either. But I can now get to here. And get some armor that I really needed. Ah! <laughs> Ira's just going along there like, oh cool, armor. Oh god, it's crashing. Don't crash on me, please. Armor that I need. Perfect. I see no reason that the game would have to give me something like this. Jesus, the frame rate's kind of going to shit. Oh, and it filled up my health? Wow, wonderful. I can't foresee any possible reason they need to do that. <laughs> I don't know what about this game, but I've been scared like twice. Maybe this will be the last game I've... Oh. What the fuck is that? Shoots little purple homing projectiles. And they explode, but you can get them caught up on the... Oh, they do a lot of damage. Jesus. What the hell are those things? Darun! Yowza. Okay, don't click. But hey, I completed the episode. The rune of black magic throbs evilly in your head and whispers dark, dark thoughts into your brain. <laughs> 
You learn the inmost lore of the Hell Mother, Shubnigurath. You now know that she is behind all the terrible plotting which has led to the so much death and horror. But she is not inviolate? Armed with this rune, you realize that once all four runes are combined, the gate to Shubnigurath, this is a pit, will open. And you can face the witch goddess herself in her frightful otherworld cathedral. Cool. Oh, man. So that's another episode done. Wow. So you have to play all four episodes, but it is possible to play them all in whatever order. Wow. Cool. Um... That's a uh, that's another episode of Quake Down, everyone. We're now like theoretically at the halfway point of this game. Uh, but I'm an Alfred. This has been Quake. Hot damn! I'm having fun. I'm getting scared. Uh, so yeah, have a good day, everyone. Thank you for coming. See ya.